Microsoft continues to open source more of its code. Before we know it, all of Microsoft's code will be open source. Just wait for Windows. Okay, so 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 maybe the move itself isn't that historic, but the code that they're opening up is. So back in the late 1900s, <laughs> Like 1970s, to be more precise. Wouldn't that be the mid-1900s? No, mid's more like 1950, 1960. I don't know. In the mid-1970s, uh, Altair Basic helped millions learn coding on emerging microcomputers. And I think Ken was one of them. Microsoft began work on the 6502 microprocessor interpreter port of BASIC. In 1976, and Commodore licensed it, licensed it for its Pet Vic 20 and Commodore 64 computers in 1977. So preservationists uh, like Michael Steele spent years rebuilding the original environment to ensure the code could still run today. He documented and rebuilt the original basic processor for multiple targets and ported it to modern assemblers like uh, CC65, uh, making it possible to build and run on current systems. 